Hi, this is Sterling Bowman, and I'll be reading Billy and the Old Toaster by Jeremy Frank. It was a big day for Billy as he waved goodbye to his parents. They were off to a fancy dinner and a show, and it was with great whining that Billy had convinced them that he was old enough to look after himself for a few hours. He smiled as he waited for the back of the car to turn the corner as it vanished for the evening. Finally, he thought. He slipped into his pajamas and flipped through the channels until he found something action-packed on TV that his parents would never normally let him watch. This was going to be an epic night. And yet, something felt like it was missing. With a rumbling from his stomach, he knew it was missing from his stomach. Tonight was a night to do everything his parents never let him do. So he skipped off into the kitchen to make one of his disgusting and totally nutritionless toasted peanut butter bacon sandwiches. He gathered all of his ingredients and gently rubbed the cool metal side of the age-old toaster with affection. It had been on the kitchen counter for longer than Billy could remember. It wasn't too much to look at. It was covered in old grease and hardened on. Well, it was impossible to tell what it was anymore. The knobs didn't fit on quite right, and the toaster hummed just a little too loudly for comfort. But it had always been there for Billy and never let him down. He slid his concoction into the glowing racks and went back to his movie without giving another thought to the sandwich. The movie continued, and Billy sat mesmerized as the hero outran a fiery explosion. The special effects were incredible. And then Billy felt like he was right there in the film. In fact, he could even smell the hot smoke from the fire. Wait, Billy realized. You can't smell things on TV. He looked around and noticed a thick black smoke billowing out of the kitchen. My sandwich! No, no, no! As he ran and saw flickering tongues of fire peeking out of the old toaster. Panic set in as Billy ran back and forth trying to decide what to do. He tried yelling at the fire. He tried insulting the fire. He tried blowing it out like a giant birthday candle, but nothing worked. The smoke was beginning to sting his eyes. His heart raced. He searched through his memories frantically as he flashed back to the day the fireman Dan spoke in his class about fire safety. Billy went through the steps one by one. He dropped down to his hands and knees, where the air was still clear, and quickly crawled out of the kitchen, down the hall, and then outside. He ran next door, knocked on their door, and then told them precisely what happened. Then he called 911, and before Billy knew it, the fire department was on the scene. So, two were his parents, who rushed home as soon as Billy called them. While they were upset that Billy had been so irresponsible as to leave the toaster unattended, they were overwhelmed with relief that Billy was safe and thankful that he knew what to do in an event of a fire. Things can always be replaced, his parents told him. But there's only one you in the end.